March 16th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start with the USGS. I'm going to link a site to a map. We just had another 6.0 aftershock uh, off the coast of Japan. I would like you to pay particular interest to the locations of these earthquakes on the USGS map. And uh, bear in mind, remember they were saying that uh, Japan's moved 8 feet towards the United States after this earthquake. And by the looks of it, it's almost like it's sliding into that trench. Um, I'm no expert, of course, but uh, you definitely want to take a look at this. Let's start with Earth Changes, Scott.net. Japan nuclear disaster could strike the U.S. Uh, this is a fear piece if it's as bad as they think it is, but not what they're admitting to. Uh, we definitely will see some fallout here in the United States. Lava erupting from Hawaii volcano sparks wildfire. Uh, authorities say lava from the volcano eruption in Hawaii has sparked a wildfire in the volcano's national park. Uh, not unusual, force gets burnt down. I've seen stories where the, the whole neighborhoods were swept away one or two houses at a time. Uh, Kilauea is in an ongoing volcanic eruption. Um, Underwater volcanoes pose risk to Taiwan's nuclear plant, activists say. Uh, they're basically saying Taiwan's built uh, these nuclear reactors very close to these underwater volcanoes, which are very active, of course, and um, they're afraid of a Japan situation. World's biggest, or world to see biggest full moon in two decades. Uh, the world is set to experience the biggest full moon in almost two decades while when the satellite reaches its closest point to Earth next weekend. On March 19th, the full moon will appear unusually large in the night sky as it reaches the point in its cycle known as lunar perigee. And again, this is just part of the normal moon's rotation around the Earth and uh, it gets really, this is the closest point it gets before it starts moving back away again. And of course, you know, full moon madness. Extraordinary. And again, the story Japan rocked by a blast at Fukushima nuclear plant meltdown may be underway. And, uh, yeah. And aftershocks go to 275 new tremors hit quake torn Japan as fear grows for missing 10,000 in flattened port town. Uh, the death toll just keeps rising and rising. And uh, with all the food shortages and fuel shortages and now the, the radiation danger, um, Japan is just having one hell of a time. And uh, my heart goes out to them. And let's not let, let's not forget the people of uh, Christchurch, New Zealand. They just went through a devastating earthquake not very long ago as well. Um, they are in the midst of cleaning up and um, trying to rebuild their lives on top of a, a very unstable zone. Australia rattled by 4.0 magnitude quake. Uh, Queensland. Yesterday, a magnitude 4-point quake struck around 30 kilometers off the coast of Innsfall, as far north of Queensland, an area already hard hit by Cyclone Yasi last month, and inundated by torrential monsoon rains. Um, yeah, it really didn't cause too much damage, but it sure stirred folks up a bit. They've got the Kilauea story, and then uh, let's go over to the... Um, RSOE. Now on the top of the RSOE chart, and this is what I don't like about the RSOE, uh, here in America anyway, I'm not sure this is for everybody, but uh, when they have the, the current emergency list, uh, they have the Brazilian flash floods of course and the tor torrential rains and all the problems that are going on in Brazil right now. Um, that's an update you can get to, but the three nuclear events and the earthquake in Japan you cannot get to the stories on these things, but they're still listed under current emergencies. So we have three separate nuclear plants on the alert. Um, 
Tokai 2 nuclear power plant, of course Fukushima, and Anagua nuclear plant. So that's three separate power plants. I believe I've, I've read the stories as many as nine reactors in one form of emergency or another. <clears throat> and uh, of course the situation's ongoing. They're still having these massive aftershocks, earthquakes and earthquakes and earthquakes. Uh, we've got a flash flood report out of Australia, um, the state of Western Australia, the Kimberley region. Uh, apparently this work camp was completely inundated and they had to evacuate people to a town. And uh, this is way out in the skirts, but uh, they're flying over trying to figure out what they're going to do for cleanup. Uh, and where was the other story? Ah, we had a hailstorm in India in the Puri district, P-U-R-I. Uh, apparently they had um, high velocity hail, upwinds, trees. Uh, three people actually died from um, impacts and uh, just extreme weather in India. High velocity hailstorm. That had to be something. And uh, that's about it for today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below or attach your videos. Um, until we see you next time, <laughs> enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.